All right, so last time I chose you, Mike, so I'm not gonna choose you this time. This time, I'm gonna pick on Khalil. So what are you oh, two anime oh. that you would do a crossover for? I'd have to go with Konosuba and as much as I hate to admit it, ReZero. Wait a minute, oh. ReZero? Yes. The one as you hate? Oh yes, huh. was a passion. But you know, Explain I feel yourself. like I feel like the cast would blend pretty well, especially considering you know you have Aqua who's useless and you have Kirito who's used. Sorry, not Kirito. You have um, Ooh, look what's at his you. name? Ru. Crazy. Subaru who's useless. Um, I just feel like the cast would get along, and plus the story. I feel like the stories would mesh together pretty well because Kanosuba needs a bit more of that dark undertone that ReZero has. Every Zero could also use a bit more of humor that's actually funny, which Kanosuba definitely provides. So if you put together Kazuma and Kirito together, and you Kirito. can consider... I did this again, goodness gracious. <laughs> so I feel like if you put Kazuma and Subaru together, I feel like the contrast would actually work out. Because Subaru to me is like a, he's like a white knight. Loser. Meanwhile, Kazuma... <laughs> is the guy who just does what he wants because he's a pervert so i see those two not getting along well but then eventually they, of course they would naturally put their differences to the side and then take down our big bad khalil would you say that the kazuma and his team are, are stronger than subaru and his team well i don't know power wise i i'd say they have more arsenal but amelia literally can freeze the world so i don't know about that Oh no, uh, Subaru definitely has the head nod as far as power goes, especially since you have Megumin who can only blow up once per day. <laughs> and I think at most she's done what, blow up a mountainside? Meanwhile, Amelia can just freeze the world over if she were to die or whatever the clause is with Puck. Right. Yeah. And then there's... It. Don't get me started on darkness. Good point, good point, good point. All right, I, I have to give you that. We'll go on to you, Ant. What are your two, two anime crossovers? Um, I'm probably gonna pick anime. SAO and uh, Shield Hero. Um, I feel this like is what SAO, is, by the way, Khalil. <laughs> right, uh, I feel like the mesh because they're both isekais, right? Both of the main characters are kind of OP in a way, and we'll get to see what uh how guns and stuff would interact in the world as in a of shield hero i don't think people have guns and stuff i feel like it'll give a do it'll give a new dynamic to uh shield hero see if people actually get killed with you know uh guns and everything like that or how the worlds would kind of mesh because they could kind of i think in the first one they couldn't leave i think in the second one i can't remember if they could leave or not mm -hmm. some of that i couldn't You're remember right. The second one they could, so, the first one they could. Yeah, exactly. Could being able to leave and come back. You know, Kirito being broken, double swords against the shield, or, you know, vice versa. Stuff like that. So I think that'll be an interesting uh, take or inter interesting crossover between the two. You know what would be hilarious is because you did mention the second season of Sword Art. What if they ended up eventually making a gun hero? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> You'd like, finally have you your know. Crystal Glaku. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Being able to see what it would be like to put them to interact with weapons outside of like the old school weapons, like spears and knives and stuff like that. I would say though, the the the, the experience leveling up system would probably be a little wonky because in the world of sword art, they seem to level up kind of normal, whereas in the world of shield hero, right, they seem to level up pretty exponentially if you're like a specific hero. So I yeah. wonder if like you you know in the world would everybody be able to choose what kind of class hero they are or is it a matter of rng like hey you know you happen to find knife of me shield and because you happen to have that that 0 0.001 chance you are the shield hero that would be an interesting uh, I see what you're saying. Mm -hmm. you know what i mean like it's a random item find type thing yep true yeah 
I think that's actually pretty interesting. Alright then. Mike, my boy, you are next. What two anime All would right. you pick to have a crossover with? Now, hear me out. You gotta hear me out all the way. But I'm definitely going Fire Force. I'm going One Piece. And I know initially it sounds extremely crazy, Ooh. but... But the way I kind of look at it is like I'm not meshing the entire worlds together. I'm just taking certain characters and throwing them into the other world. So like I think that Ace specifically would fit pretty well in the Fire Force with the Fire Force cast. Um, and not even just Ace because of his fire, but like even the Sanjis, the Akainus, even what was uh I'm blanking. Uh, oh, Oven with uh, Big Big Mom. Like, I feel oh, like yeah. those characters would kind of mesh pretty well with the Fire Force cast, even if they're a little wonky like Oven. Just because of their flame abilities, I think that they would look pretty good there. And then, it doesn't just work one way. You know, I think Maki specifically would probably fit in pretty well with the Straw Hats, even though she annoys me. But I think that she <laughs> would fit in pretty well with the... Uh, the Straw Hats cast, so I'm specifically looking at the cast members kind of jumping into the other world, seeing them in a different light with the, especially the One Piece characters, they're around a bunch of overpower people, and then the Fire Force characters, you know, seeing them go on journeys instead of working, if that makes sense. Hmm. Okay. I can I can kind of see the vision of where you're going with this. Right, yeah, I can kind of see the vision. It it's still nasty. Bit. Don't get me wrong. It's still nasty. <laughs> but what you explaining how you want the cast to interact with one another, I can see where you're going with it. I I will say it. It would be nasty if if they were to try to fight a Kanu, especially if he were to still yeah. keep like his Logia part. Part like how would they be able to take him down? Would be the interesting idea. Because like I fire on fire could still hit, but then would it be like oh Probably. you know since it's a word of one piece would they then have to learn hockey on top of learning mm -hmm. how to use their pyrokinesis that would be interesting and, and, and i was also Arkanu. thinking like people like benny maru imagine benny maru fighting the straw hats is as nonchalant as he is imagine him really beating the dog like giving them that <laughs> moment where he's literally bodies the entire straw hats um like that one guy i always forget his name but the one other nonchalant guy uh so yeah i don't know i, th I feel like there's a sharon. lot of epic not sharon um oh yeah even sharon is sharon like it would be crazy he jump on the boat and then do that little stomp move and the boat's broke i feel like there's a lot of amazing moments that would kind of come from it that's 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 where my my mind goes when i think True. of this collab i ain't okay. want to make it boring <laughs> Well, you, you definitely made interesting uh, combination there, I gotta say. And I guess that saves me, last but not least, if I were to combine two animes together, I would put My Hero and Soul Eater. Now, of course, you guys can already kind of see the idea of both of them being in academies and whatnot, but I feel like having the world of Soul Eater mixed in with My Hero would make the villains that they go against a lot darker because now it's not just a matter of you having quirks and going against super villains but these super villains get stronger off of actually killing citizens which makes the missions of having to try to save and defeat the villain much more perilous especially if you mess up because then they can take your soul and then what if you know by them taking your soul they get a little bit of your quirk too and that could be like how all for one kind of exist in our world but also at the same time, let's say two people have two different quirks and, you know, some like that and their wavelengths could match up based off whether, you know, someone's a weapon or a maestro or something like that. Uh, I feel like it, it could make up for a pretty interesting story along that line, especially leveling up because now it's just not your quirk, but how well you, you team up with your partner, how you can make your quirks work together if you're a weapon or a maestro. Because you've seen in the world Soul Dealer, uh, Soul Eater, weapons can still fight without their Meisters, but the, when they team up with their Meisters appropriately, you know, that power boost is like brought to the next level. And the same thing with like Keishin to say, all for one's out here killing everybody, taking souls, and then he turns into a Keishin all for one. Like, how 
exponentially stronger would he be from how he already is in the show? Boy, boy, your boy Shigaraki, my boy, he probably would be getting a lot more souls, you know, if he's destroying everybody just by touching them. Um, but yeah, what, that was kind of my thought. What you I, think, eh? That's a that's a very wild crossover, and you just finished Soul Eater. So, what are your thoughts? Um, my thoughts are how are you how are witches are going to play in a part, and what about madness? madness. How you play, how you putting madness into my hero? How would that work? Well, I feel like the the madness part probably would go on along the lines of like the villains. Like you already see, like the the villains kind of teeter totter off of you know their psyche. But I think like if they decide to actually follow through with killing somebody and devour a soul, that would allow the madness to kind of play more of a part. Like the more souls they eat, the stronger the madness gets, and the deeper they fall into being a super villain or something along that lines. Now I, you do make a good point with the witch part. Uh, maybe that could be like a specific like weird uh, DNA quirk type thing. Like you happen to be born with a certain quirk. Or mixture of DNA that makes you more uh, aligned to being a witch, or if you join some type of cult, you know that that does something that could make you be deemed a witch. But yep. So, with that said, we're gonna end that video there. Uh, if you guys have any two animes that you would like to cross over, uh, leave it down in the comment section below. Let us know if if you liked any of our combinations that we mentioned in the video also and don't forget to drop a like subscribe and we will see you in the next video peace if you've made it this far into the video i want to thank you for watching today's content i hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to share this video with like-minded wonderful people such as yourself and we'll see you next time